The inevitable happened in the Covet C8 market. Prices aren't just decreasing, no, they are decreasing at an increasing rate. Or in other words, prices are falling off a cliff. And this means that used Corvettes are soon for the first time cheaper than new ones. How about that? In this video we'll figure out how fast and by how much the cars are dropping in value, how this relates to other cars and what this means for you as an owner, buyer or seller. As always we'll start with a quick market overview before we look at the price trends. Over here we have the Corvette C8 market of November 2022 split by roof type. We can see that there are 2700 cars for sale and that 62% of these cars are coupes. Naturally, the coupes are a tad cheaper as they go for $92,000 whereas you need to bring $103,000 for the convertibles. Now if you watched my previous market updates, then you notice that there are less excesses in the market. You can still find a few cars above $140,000 but these tend to be Callaway editions or C8Rs. So this already tells us something important about the market. However, if we split the market by the new and the used cars, we can see that there is still a significant amount of new cars that are advertised at MSRP. But we know the drill by now. It is unlikely that they will be sold for this price. So now that we had a quick look at the market, it's time to have a look at the price development over time. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, prices fell off a cliff. Over here we have the price trends for the used CAs between November 2020 and November 2022. And let's start with the obvious. The price decrease that we saw since August 21 accelerated. Coupe prices dropped from $99,000 to $92,400. So this means that they dropped by $6,600 or 6.7% during the last 3 months. And the situation is slightly worse in the convertible market. Prices decreased from $112,000 to $103,500. And this equals a drop of $8,500 or 7.6%. Perhaps the convertibles lost a bit more due to the upcoming winter. Yet, it doesn't matter how you look at this, both price decreases are exceptionally large given the time frame of only 3 months. With this magnitude it is then also not surprising that the price decreases are statistically significant. And this means that it is unlikely that they are the result of chance. Moreover, we can see the exact same pattern in both markets hereby further reinforcing that we are looking at real price changes. Now if we take a step backwards and look at the complete trend, we can see that values increased between November 2020 and August 2021. There was a lot of scarcity in the market. Chevrolet was dealing with production issues while there was an insane hype around the C8. And in this period it was possible to buy a C8, drive it for a bit and sell it with the same price or with a profit. The momentum turned though after August 21. Prices started to decrease and have been decreasing ever since. And this means that compared to the market top, coupe values are down by approximately $14,000 or 13.3% while convertible values are down by $16,000 or 13.7%. We'll discuss at the end of the video if these numbers are high or low compared to other cars, so stay tuned for that. Yet, irrespective of the outcome, they did push the market to a significant tipping point. But before we look at that, if you enjoyed this video, please support the channel by clicking on the like button down below. Thank you. So what exactly is this tipping point? Well, it is the point where used cars are becoming cheaper than new cars. And this sounds rather crazy, but the market is extremely close to this point. Over here we have at the top two the price trends for the used coupes and convertibles, so the ones we saw before and at the bottom the trends for the new coupes and convertibles. And this reveals that in both markets, the used cars are almost cheaper than the new ones. The difference is only $2,000. On top of this comes that a significant part of the new market is advertised for MSRP, but not sold for MSRP. So in reality, it's likely that these lines already crossed. And of course, this increases the attractiveness of new cars. These trends also reveal another important development. We can see that new car prices are creeping up as Chevrolet continues to increase the MSRP. And this in turn could have a positive effect on the used car prices. Now finally, the trends also show that no matter how large the price decreases, CAs are still expensive as hell. There's no way around it. They remain very popular and based on the prices, demand is still larger than supply. Alright, we saw now that prices are coming down, that the decrease rate is accelerating and that used cars are almost cheaper than new cars. But why are we seeing these developments? There are a few obvious reasons. First, we can see over here that used supply increased tremendously. The red and orange lines show that there are approximately 2000 used cars listed for sale. So supply is catching up with demand and hereby decreasing the scarcity level and the price. So, we can see that the increased rate slowed during the last 6 to 3 months. Whereas we could see linear increases before, the supply trend appears to be flattening now. 
Surprisingly though, new car supply is not really climbing, it hoovers around 200 cars per roof type. The reduction in the scarcity level is also visible in the time it takes to sell a C8. It's very difficult to measure this in a precise way, but we can evaluate the time that the cars are advertised for sale. And in my experience, this serves as a decent proxy for the selling time. Over here we can see the development for the complete C8 market, and you can see that the cars are selling slower and slower. After their introduction they sold like hot cakes, but the time to sell has only been increasing, signaling that the balance in the market is increasing. In fact, we might be close to a more sustainable balance. If I split the graph by the model years, we can see that the selling time for 2020 and 2021 cars stopped increasing. The blue and orange line are no longer increasing. Or in other words, the used market is starting to find its balance. This analysis is by the way based on data from AutoTempest. AutoTempest conveniently pulls listings from a bunch of different websites into one place so that you can browse through all of them. Check out the links in the description to find the Corvette CAs for sale right now. Now the second reason for the drop in the prices is the increase in the median mileage of the cars that are listed for sale. Given that prices typically decrease when you add mileage, it is not so strange that we can see prices coming down. We can see this beautifully when we look at the price development for the different model years. Over here we have those developments and you can see that the graph is a bit messy. But please stay with me here. I want to emphasize the trends and not so much the individual developments. Each line represents the median price for a coupe or convertible from a different model year. So the blue line shows for example the price development for a 2020 coupe. Now these lines depict the same pattern as we saw in the aggregate price trends. Values increased till November, then started to decrease and are now falling off a cliff. Almost all model years display an acceleration in the decrease rate. But this isn't the main reason why I wanted to show this to you. No, I wanted to show that the depreciation patterns changed. You can see by looking at the red, green, pink and grey lines that 2020 and 2023 cars immediately started to depreciate. And this differs a lot from the price trends for the older cars and shows that the time of appreciation is over. Now one could of course argue that we are only seeing these price decreases because the mileages of the cars are increasing. After all, an increase in mileage means a decrease in the price. And that's of course a fair point. Around 25% of the market has now a mileage that is above 4000 miles and that is a lot more than let's say 6 months after its introduction. However, it's not just the mileage that is pushing prices down. Next to the depreciation per 1000 miles, the cars are also dropping because they are aging and influenced by the market. And this means that a car that is not driven still decreases in value. To put this in a bit more fancy terms, it means that the cars are also subject to a depreciation per year effect. And we can see that beautifully in the following plot. Over here we have the price development per mileage bucket split by the coupes and the convertibles. Again, there are quite many lines but it's about the trends, not the individual lines. Each line shows the price for cars with a similar mileage. This line over here, for example, shows the prices for used convertibles between 0 and 480 miles, whereas the grey line shows the development for used coupes between 4300 and roughly 70,000 miles. Now if we evaluate the trends in all these different lines, we can only conclude that the patterns very much mirror the one in the aggregate price trends and the one in the model year price trends. Prices went up till November 21, started to decrease and are now falling off a cliff. Of course, these trends show a bit more fluctuation, but the message remains the same. C8s are depreciating because they are, just like most other cars, subject to the depreciation per thousand miles and depreciation per year effect. There's however still one thing to consider, the market trend. Last week I shared with you my Q3 exotic car market update and you can click over here if you want to check out the full video. In that video, I show that the market has been topping since the beginning of 2022 and now has fully turned. That is, most cars are coming down in value. There's however a difference in the magnitude of the decreases. Earlier in the video I shared with you that coupes are down by 13.3% and convertibles by 13.7%. And with these price drops, the Corvette C8 belongs among the cars that saw the largest price decreases during the last 3 months. That is, out of all the cars for which I'm tracking the prices. Most of them saw price drops between 1 and 3% and another significant group saw prices come down between 4 and roughly 7%. So with 13 to 14%, the Corvette C8 is clearly an outlier. Now there can be of course several explanations for this. First, we need to recognize that the Corvette C8 market was quite inflated. In fact, it might have been one of the most hyped markets in 2021. 
and when a car like this ranks as the fastest selling car in the US, you know that something is going on. After all, no matter how good the car may be, it's not based on a limited production run. So supply was always going to increase to a level where it is more aligned with demand. On top of this of course comes the new Z06 that might lead to an additional increase in supply levels for the normal C8. And all of this means that the downward correction is larger in this market than in many other markets. The correction consists out of the normal depreciation plus the deflation of the price premiums. And naturally, this is not unique to the Corvette market. We are also seeing this in the GT3 market. Now another reason for the large price decrease might be that the Corvette C8 market is one step ahead of the normal market. We saw that the C8 market topped much earlier than the market trend, so this could also mean that we will see larger price decreases much earlier in the C8 market than that we will see them in the normal market. The Corvette market is much larger than for some other sports and supercars and the Corvettes are trading hands much quicker. Or in other words, the prices could reflect the actual situation in a much better way. And this of course also means that the rest of the market should be prepared for some serious price corrections. But what does this mean for you as a buyer, seller or owner? Well, the answer is relatively simple. Buyers and owners should expect that the car depreciates. That is, if you bought it for an average price. The days where you could drive it for free are over. Now this cannot come as a surprise. Prices are already coming down for a while. Now as a seller, it's worthwhile to consider your asking price. Since values are coming down rapidly, a car that is priced for top dollar to begin with is unlikely to sell. In the end, it might be more efficient to sell the car with a slightly lower asking price than to have your car listed for sale for 3 months. After all, we just saw that values came down by 7% during the last 3 months. In my opinion, it's then also highly unlikely that price trends will turn and that prices will go up again. Nothing in the data points towards this direction. And with that we arrived at the end of the video. Now if you enjoyed this data driven way of analyzing car markets but would have liked to see the analysis for a different car, let me know the name of the car for which you would like to see an analysis by commenting it down below in the comment section. Once there are enough requests for a certain car, I will make a video about it. Don't forget then to subscribe and to click on the notification bell so you get notified when your requested analysis goes live. As always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next week for a new video.